Hi folks, Scott Sega with you here, RTC TV4, here for another interview, and we've got a great group of folks here today. They're representing Earth Day, which comes up in every April, uh, I believe it's April 22nd this year, and so uh, we're going to talk to them about some of the programs they're holding here in Rochester and Fulton County. Well, first of all, let me say welcome to all of you. Thanks for being here. Thank you. Thank Let's you. start over here with some introductions. Your name? My name is Chad Heisey. Excellent. Gretchen Copeland. Gretchen. Stacy Hart. You all know Stacy from the recycling plant and Mary lovely Ann lady. Christensen. Mary Ann <laughs> down on the end. Well, thank you all for being here. We're talking about Earth Day. We're talking about recycling. We're talking about replanting trees. We're talking about programs that have been going on or going to be going on here in the community. And you, as a group, are kind of leading the way. So I'm going to go back to the history a little bit right off the bat and say, how'd you guys get together? Whose idea was it and who coalesced everyone? Well, actually, Gretchen and I got our heads together. Um, when we knew that the city was going to discontinue the pickup of recycling, we felt like somebody needed to kind of get in there and encourage the community to continue their recycling, even though they didn't have the convenience of a pickup. Mm -hmm. So we uh, went to the solid waste at, uh, board and got permission to form a, a group and we just decided to call it Friends of Recycling. Nice. Um, so uh, that was, gosh, back in September, I believe. Okay. So we've kind of been spearheading things sure. ever since then. We had a booth at the Chili Cook-Off. And uh, so this is really our big event. Right, though, right, right. Week. Well, you've had some time to uh, get together. Of course, that was a big deal when... Um, we decided, the city decided not to offer the recycling at the curb anymore. Um, uh, let's go right to Stacy here. You see it every day. We do. You seen less coming in now probably, right? Um, actually, not less. Um, really? It's it's staying, we were very busy. So they're bringing yeah. it in themselves or yes. they're dropping it off. You have pickup locations around yes, town, right? Yes, we have pickup locations all over the county. Um, we did add another two locations here in Rochester. Okay. Um, save a lot parking lot has a trailer now and um, at the old Hart Schaffner and Marks building. Mm -hmm. They're on Wabash yeah, Avenue. Wabash right? Avenue. Mm -hmm. There's a, a trailer there for disposal. Um, but actually the the amount of usage on the trailers has it, you know gone up. Gone up a lot. Yeah. Um, and the amount of traffic coming into the building has actually increased a lot. So we are staying busier actually. That's and good. And it's, it's nice that People are still participating. Absolutely. That was a major concern That's is that people big, were just yeah. going to start taking it to the landfill, right? Right. right. And right. So we don't want that. <laughs> so we at least we, we train them to separate all their recycling out every week. Right. And uh, now that it's not being picked up, they're still separating. And so they're taking it themselves right. in their trunks or their trucks or whatnot, yep. right? Yep. That's excellent. Well, congratulations to you, Rochester. I'm proud of you for doing that. Um, I, I honestly was concerned. Um, and so it's nice to know that people are still doing the recycling. Yep. But that brought the committee together. Mm -hmm. You went to the solid waste. I'm sure that they were more than pleased to have volunteers to spread the gospel, so to speak. Mm -hmm. yes. I think so. Mm -hmm. You did the chili booth. Did you win the chili competition? <laughs> we didn't do the chili. We oh, didn't just, make chili. Just, okay. We just had a little booth, a booth set up okay. right. for nice. information. And did you eat some chili? And we had a raffle. Yes. Okay. You we ate raffled some a composter. Yes. Nice. That mm -hmm. people just a hand in. composter? Mm -hmm. Those are fun. Those yeah. are very nice. Well, very good. So. We've had some time to be a committee, to get some PR out there, really ramping up now because April's the month when everything begins to really happen. What are some of the events going on? Let's just jump right into that. And uh, I'm not sure which of you wants to answer, but let's talk about what's the first event coming up. Um, the first event will be, will be Chad. Chad. Uh -huh. So we'll let Chad <laughs> talk about that. <laughs> You're going to do WRI? Excellent. When is that? That is, what's the date? On the 20th. Okay. Yeah. So on the 20th, two days. Now, I was right. Earth Day is on the 22nd? Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. So Earth Day is on the 22nd. Tune in to uh, WROI that morning on, uh, that's Friday the 20th, and you'll be able to uh, see Chad here, or yeah. hear Chad. You don't see it anymore unless you watch their Facebook page, but you'll be able <laughs> to uh, hear Chad talking with Dick about that. What is your role, Chad? I am just part of the Friends of Recycling. Okay. And you're just taking on that role to go out there. And first of all, you're in my hot seat, as we call it. You're sitting right <laughs> next to me, so you get the most questions. Great. But you're also putting that face out there to encourage people to do that. What are some of the things that inspired you to be a part of this? I've always been green-minded. Okay. In college, I started my campus-wide campus recycling program. Nice. Where was that? 
at, it's now called Trine University. Uh-huh. Yeah. Very, Angola. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, one of our uh, one of our producer's daughters just signed to go up there and play basketball next oh, great, year. Huh? So uh, good things happening at Trine. Well, um, very nice. So you put together a program there, and now mm-hmm. you live here in the community in Fulton County? I do live uh, right near downtown Rochester. Okay. And, uh, I loved having the curbside recycling, and I saw it disappear. And I saw in the Shopper's Guide that uh, this committee had formed. Yeah. So I reached out to Stacy, who I see about five times a week anyway. <laughs> right. <laughs> Bringing taking your recycling in. Mine and work. Okay. And, <laughs> That's great. That's great. Well, Gretchen, let's talk about you for a moment. Gretchen was an art teacher at Rochester Schools for, my goodness, a couple of years. Let's just say. <laughs> Both of my children um, were uh, taught by you, one of whom, by the way, is very much interested in art as he's gotten older and uh, looking to maybe even go to school for that. So kudos to you for, for that. But um, what got you involved? Um, well, like with Marianne, I was concerned about the curbside yeah. and just keeping it going and and um, years ago, Marianne and I were involved in recycling at the very beginning, and it was just really a big deal, and people were excited about it, and everybody participated, and we got recycling in the schools, and um, it was, over the years, we just felt like maybe the enthusiasm had dwindled a sure. little bit, and so um, one of the things that I'm particularly interested in is the schools and um, so each of us had a school that we went to and just saw how their recycling programs were going. Did an we, evaluation so to speak? Right, okay. Kind of um, to see how we could help out if they had enough bins, you know, what they needed and just to see, you know, how involved the kids were and... Um, What's their grade by the way? You got to tell us. How are they doing? <laughs> They're doing good. Excellent. Yeah. Good job for the school <laughs> system. And. Um, at Columbia um, Elementary, and the second graders are making posters. Yeah, tell to, me about that. To put downtown, uh, they're Earth Day posters, okay. and um, they're all done, and they're really cute. And so they'll be up all week nice. of Earth Week. And we're putting them where? Just in downtown businesses and windows, well, or what? I ask all the downtown businesses on Main Street, but I think I'm actually going to have to ask more because I think I have about 130 posters. <laughs> oh, so great! I think it's going to be more than we we'll have. We'll spread out. We love that. Excellent. So, Excellent. Yeah. Well, good stuff there, Stacy. I'm going to skip you and come okay. over to Marianne. I'll come back to you. Okay. Miriam, recycling, green, Earth. We yeah. all love it, but. Most of us don't know anything about it. You've stepped up. What inspired you? Well, I just, I guess we, when we first started this, we saw that there was a huge need for this. Um, you can't travel through down 31 and not notice our landfill. Right. And at that time, I lived fairly close to that. And I just hated the thought of all the trash going out there mm-hmm. and what it was doing to our landscape mm-hmm. so if there's any way to keep that from building up out there yeah. and actually um, the landfill is very supportive of our group they've Excellent. even um, put one of their employees on our on, in our group oh, that's so great. he's a great guy he comes to our meetings every every meeting he he's there so fantastic um, it, it's nice to know that they're kind of in partnership sure. with us they don't want to mm-hmm. see the landfill filled up with Right. Things that are can be reused sure. or recycled, so well, that's, that's going well. That's great. Yeah, Very good. Yeah. Well, we'll bounce back to Stacy now, and, and Stacy, you've got a great crew out there. First of all, tell us how long have you been in charge out there at the uh, um, Solid Waste? May of 2015. May of 2015, yep. and you have a staff of how many on a typical um, day? And we have six total employees. Okay. There's four full time and two part time. So, and you are. I've been out there, of course, multiple times, but. You guys are recycling just about everything that is possibly recyclable. Yes. Um, you know, we all think of cardboard, glass, and plastic. You know, those are the right off the top of the head. Right. But you guys, you know, if I have paint right. cans, I bring those to you. You yes. guys can dispose of those properly. Yes. If I, electronics as well, correct? Yes. Um, the electronics, um, appliances, yeah. um, we try to aim it towards our Fulton County residents. Yes. Um, 
we don't want to take everybody's right. old refrigerators. <laughs> right. right. There's a cost to it. and We, we don't charge, mm -hmm. um, but other counties do. Right, but there's That's, a cost to you. Right, there's the a disposal. cost to us, mm -hmm. right, to dispose of everything. Okay, well, yeah. very good. Well, you guys are doing great work out there. Again, tell us, uh, you guys are open Monday through Saturday. Monday through Friday, you're open What are your From hours. From 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. 8 a.m. to 4 on Monday through Friday. And then Saturdays is 8 a.m. to noon. 8 a.m. to noon on Saturday. But so. our drop-off site's... And 24, open 7. 24 7 that's right yep. now you have you, you described the two that you have mm -hmm. but we have others around mm -hmm. the county or yes okay um we do have out front of our facility yes we have bins um and also a smith farm store okay in rochester yes and um, we have a drop-off trailer at Caston School. Nice. Out behind the building. They, and that's open to the public. Excellent. Um, we have one at uh, Kiwana. There's an old gas station yeah. there in Kiwana. And Lighters Ford, they're at the parking lot at the tavern. Um, and we have two in Akron behind the gas station there. In I had no idea. You're no. amazing me with every everyone you keep <laughs> yeah. adding. I'm like, my goodness. Yeah. So as a board and as a director, you looked at the entire county and said, if we're going to do this right, we have to have trailers at these locations. Right. And, and those locations have been set up for years. Great. Um, but we've just added the two here in Rochester to help with the... Doing, you know, doing away with the curbside, we yeah. added more so that people didn't have to travel yeah. farther. We okay. thought maybe it would help. It's great. And we all understand there's a cost to everything in life. There's a cost to doing the recycling and to do that pickup. Some communities are lean all the way for it. Some kind of try to find that middle ground. Some simply don't feel like they can afford it. Rochester's kind of ebbed and flowed with different administrations on where we stand on that. But to know that we've got a group that kind of picked up the slack and is uh, making sure that this continues. It's just a great thing. So yeah. I want to commend you and your staff for all that you're doing Thank out you. there. Now, back to the volunteers. We've got more events happening this month that some of which our uh, viewers can participate in, right? <coughs> I looked sure. at Gretchen because Gretchen reached out to me in the phone calls. <laughs> but any of you, uh, let's address some of these other things happening here. We've got the second graders making posters, but there are actual events going on as well. Well, the there are going to be different classes that are going to visit the recycling center. Great. So on the 24th, Columbia second graders will be there. Okay. And the 25th through the 26th will be Akron third grade. And the 27th will be the Rochester High School life skills class. Excellent. And have there been any more scheduled since we... No. Okay. Okay. Now tell me, you've got these classes coming in. Do you have a, a big song and dance that you do, kind of a standard yeah, program for do. these kids? Yeah, <laughs> yes. and they, they all love it. Oh, sure. They get to see the machines run. Oh, yeah. yeah big so. machines doing big things, right. crunching right. things. Yep. That's a lot of fun. Right? Yep. <laughs> okay. Well, very, very good. Now, um, later coming up um, in this month, we I know that we're giving away trees, kind of a, I don't know if this is an arbor thing, it so is. to speak. Okay. Tell me a little bit about that and where these folks can pick up some trees to maybe plant. Well, we talked to Bill Walsh, uh -huh. and he was interested in partnering with us okay. in some of our activities. And yeah. so that day, um, there's going to be... Bill's still with uh, Friends of the Park? Friends of the Park, Okay, yes. very good. And um, so he's going to be heading up, giving away trees for them. Excellent. And then we're going to have a recycling trailer there and pass out information to people yes. about recycling. Tell me again that day. That's the 28th. 28th. Yeah. Okay, that's uh, out at Prairie Edge, correct? Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. so I think Prairie that starts at 8.30. Does it? I think okay. that was 8.30 a.m. Okay, so that's, that's Prairie Edge. It's the park out uh, by 31, by the fairgrounds, of course. A beautiful pond there and a walking trail. But uh, they'll be out there at 8.30 in the morning on the 28th. Yes. And uh, I, I'm assuming they're giving away... Um, what do they call them? Samplings or uh, yeah, saplings. Saplings. Thank you, saplings. <laughs> <laughs> I've been in demographics for too long. Saplings, and uh, instead of great big trees, you know. Right, yeah. But um, that's just a wonderful thing. Do you know what kind of trees? Mm -mm. Okay, very good. We'll leave that to Bill. To, to Bill, you have to show up to find out. <laughs> um, well, that's a great thing. And again, now you're partnered. You've created your own group. You partner with some others, and boom, you've got an even more of a force going forward yeah. with that. So, mm -hmm. great things there. What are the other events? We've got an Earth Walk happening too, correct? That's yeah. on the 28th as well, okay. and that starts at 10 o'clock at the hospital. Okay. Where and do they walk to? We're going to walk to the city park. Okay. And we're going to pick up litter on the way. So Why not? People bring <laughs> rubber gloves. Yeah, right. Yeah. We're going to have a couple of sticks with nails in them, I guess, that I'm responsible for coming <laughs> okay. up with. <laughs> I got gotcha. you. Yeah. 
Well, that's a lot so. of fun. That's a oh, lot of fun. One bag for trash, one bag for recycling. Right, right. Yep. Yeah, you'll be able to recycle some of that. Well, I know that um, you know, you've seen various groups, uh, service groups. I know the Kiwanas had taken on 13th Street for a while, and I've walked that more than one occasion picking up trash. Yeah. And I'll tell you, you may drive by things every day, not even think about it. Get on your feet and start walking it. Yeah. yeah. Before you know it, you've got a, a full bag of trash within a mile. So. Yeah. Um, well, that's great that you guys are doing such wonderful things here in this community. Other events happening, other things uh, with this group. Well, the library is supporting us real well. Talk they're to me about going that. to they're going to have a display of recycling material, um, okay. books. We're going to take in some of our flyers that detail exactly what you can and cannot recycle yeah. because there are a lot of questions about that. And Stacy will be having a class uh, on. That's the Tuesday, Tuesday, Tuesday April 24th, 24th, 24th at okay. 6 p.m. Okay, yeah. and that's at the library? Yes, Excellent. Rochester we, library. We titled it Get Your Recycling Know-How. Okay, <laughs> so, so you can teach us what can be recycled. Right. Do you teach us what happens to some of the things that, that get recycled? Yep. Okay. Yep. These pants right now, we're recycled from. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> they weren't. But they do make clothing now out of recycled plastics, mm -hmm. I, I saw. So uh, mm -hmm. the innovations just continue, but uh, it's the three R's, right? Mm -hmm. Reduce, reuse, recycle. Right. Right. You've got to learn that. You've got to live by it. It's not just a, you know, a, a statement. It's a mantra. And right. uh, so mm -hmm. I know that the four of you are living by that mantra for sure. Mm -hmm. Other events, other things, and I think probably just as important as anything, let me tell my viewers how they can maybe be a part. Someone's going to watch this and be inspired by the four of you. What can we do to uh, get them in touch with you? Well, we have a meeting every two months, okay. and our next one is May, May 10th. May 10th? Uh -huh. And where do you meet? We meet at the Recycling Center, okay. and there's a... Stacy is our best contact sure. because she is there all the time. She's so living it every day. If anybody mm -hmm. wants to find out more about the group, when we're going to meet, the times and place, just call the Recycling Center and Excellent. she can give them all the information. Excellent. There you go. Give, give Stacy a call up at the Recycling Center. Not that she's a busy woman who might not be able to take your call right away, but she will get back with you. She's right. very good at that. Well, you guys have just done wonderful things. I appreciate you bringing this to my attention. I wish you luck on radio. It's a scary gig. I'd, I'd be afraid. <laughs> <laughs> Not as bad as this. We make it pretty easy here. But uh, si sincerely, thank you all for what you're doing, and I wish you nothing but the best. We'll have a list of all those things. I'll, I'll air that at the end of the program here, but we'll also have it up on the scroll here on Channel 4. And again, if you have questions about any of this, give Stacy a call up at uh, Solid Waste, and she'll make sure to take care of you and get you what you need. Yeah. Any other information, please? Uh, we're doing a t-shirt, yes. a Friends of Recycling t-shirt, okay. that we're offering to the community. They can buy uh, the t-shirt, and the funds will go to help us do more things for the community. For Excellent. Recycling Excellent. Uh, activities, workshops. Okay. Well, we would have had a t-shirt for you, but they weren't quite done yet. So as soon as they get done, we'll put up a flyer on Channel 4. That way you know where you can get those as well. But just call Stacy. She knows yeah. everything. <laughs> yeah. She knows everything. Yeah. All right. Other things, Gretchen? I can't think of anything okay. else. Stacy. Thank you. Okay, Mary. Thank, well, thank you all very, very much. Thank you for tuning in here on RTC. You know we're going to keep the information flowing for you, so we thank you. And if you have any information about events happening in the community, be sure and give us a call up here at RTC. Thanks again for watching.